everyone, it's me, Dama, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a sewing video on how to make this. It could be a clutch, it can be a cosmetic bag, you can put receipts in here, all sorts of things you can put in here and endless uses. So this fabric I found at Walmart, and I went to the fabric aisle in Walmart, and they have those little like squared pieces like on the, kind of almost on the end of the aisle. And I usually don't get those because it's kind of expensive. I'd rather just get the yard instead of just those remnants. But this fabric was super, super cute. Um, it's Wonder Woman right here. And it looks very like old school, very like comic. So I thought it was super, super cute. And I've been using this Victoria's Secret cosmetic bag. And it's pretty much just like this one. I think it might be a little smaller. And I found that that's the best cosmetic bag I've owned because it's super easy. You just plop everything in there. It's not bulky at all. And I decided to make one a little bigger for myself so I can put like my face wipes, everything will go in here. And I think I'm gonna be using this the next time I travel. Just plop this into my luggage and put it put everything in here. So I love this little bag that I made. If you guys want to keep on watching and see how I did it step by step, make sure to keep on watching. So first you guys need your fabric and you need a fabric that's on the outside and I chose this fabric that I bought at Walmart which is 100% cotton and these other two pieces of fabric um, I bought at my fabric store felt and this one's going to be the one that's going to be in the middle, so the color doesn't really matter. And I've had this piece for a while now, and I have not used it, so it's perfect moment to use it. So I'm going to use this one for the middle, so it's more cushiony from the middle. And then this piece right here is 100% cotton, and I'm going to be using this for the inside of the bag. So this is going to be the inner lining, okay? So you're going to need three pieces of fabric, and they're all the same size already. I already pre-cut them. They're 18 by 21. And you also need a zipper. This is a 20-inch zipper. And I chose a black zipper. And the next thing is to lay them on top of each other. So first, I'm going to start with the fabric on the bottom, which is this one. And the side that's going to be inside of the purse is going to be facing down. And then you're going to put this fabric right on top, which is going to serve as a kind of like, it's going to make it a little thicker. And then you're going to place your fabric that you want outside right on top. And the first step is we're going to be sewing the zipper on the edges of the fabric. So first, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little more. So this is the top edge of the fabric. So what you're going to be doing is grabbing your zipper, like so, and just putting it alongside. And you're going to start with the portion that has the little pulley, okay? So you're going to start like that, and you're going to put the end of the zipper toward the end of the fabric right here, okay? Because sometimes zippers, you can't find the exact zipper length, so you guys can just use a longer one and then use, just cut off the extra piece. So you're always going to start from the pulley, okay? So you're going to place your fabric right on top and you're going to fold it just a little bit, just like so. And you're going to sew right on top, all straight across. I'm going to zoom in a little different so you guys can see the full picture. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about and let's see. So this is the little zipper pull. You want to start from this edge to the edge of the fabric, okay? So what you're gonna do is fold it all along so, and you're gonna 
you can pin it down. Sometimes I'm brave enough that I don't pin it down, but I would suggest you to pin it down. So you're going to fold all along the edge and pin the zipper. So once you put the zipper on one side, you're going to do the same thing on this side right here. So you're just going to fold it like so, put your zipper like that, and you're going to do the same thing on this zipper. So you're going to grab your pin, and then make sure to start on the edge of the zipper. Fold, and pin. You're going to pin, fold and pin on the zipper all on this side. So this is what it looks once I've pinned the zipper on the edge of the each side of the fabric. And now I'm going to sew right along so, and I'm going to be coming back. So this is how it looks once I've sewn the zipper on each side of the fabric, like so. So you get to go like that. And the next step is to turn it inside over. So you're going to go like that. And this is the inside. Just like that. This is how it looks inside and we're going to be sewing each side. So the next step is to make sure that the zipper pulley is somewhere in the middle of the purse because you're going to be sewing also on top of the zipper. So you're going to go straight along the sides and also include the zipper. And you're going to be doing the same on this side. So straight like that. That's crooked. but. You know what I mean? You're just going to be going straight like that to enclose the bag. This is what it looks like once it's sewn from each side. So I just essentially went up straight and make sure when you reach the zipper, it remains folded like that. Just like so. So you're going to be sewing right on top. So you're going to go right on top of the zipper and now we're going to turn it inside out. And this is the bag, this is the zipper like so. And this is from the back. And I just see I clean it up from inside and cut all the extra pieces of thread, all the thread. and you if you're a first time beginner for making like bags or this is your first time the first time may not be the best time because sometimes it's kind of difficult to have this part the zipper region kind of straight I had to do this twice on one because it was like weird I was like okay I need to fix this because I had sewn too far away from the zipper and one side had show, was showing more black than the other. You'd see, you'd know if you did that mistake. So you just need to do it again. Uh, you need to have a lot of patience when you're sewing, and you just need to accept that you'll make mistakes. 
So this was the little bag. Totally, totally loved it. Make sure to comment down below if you guys want to see any other videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.